So just when we're about to uh, have some tea, uh, Uncle Chen says, "Oh, you wait a second there. He's caught up to uh, cook the tea now. That this is very." Ah, 对，在录一下。啊，这是昨放了一天的了，是吧？呃，昨天的嘛。嗯，是的，是，呃 ，been sitting overnight。啊。So now you can see the tea leaves look very wilted. Um, it's it's a really unique feeling. It's dry and moist and very smooth all at the same time. Now, when to cook the tea and how to cook it is vital in all tea making process. So, now this is. His son, and、uh, Uncle Su is gonna cook the tea. He's the tea master of this household.、Uh, by the way, today it's very.、Uh, it was. It's been raining all morning, and now、uh, it's still very misty. So people are not plucking tea. It's. It's very important that you do not pluck any、uh, wet tea leaves because they cannot be used. Now we're walking down. Oh, 好好好。这是刚才拿的是吧？这个不是这个，这个，这个，这个。炒人可以的话，就是全部把它炒炒炒掉。现在不行了，现在这个那个可能还可以的。啊、uh,。哦，就这个是之前没炒好，就是不应该炒的。不应该炒的。啊、uh, ，So that's a batch. Um, I thought that was the batch. He just took it out. It looks like overwhelmed. He said, "No, that's the testing batch that was not supposed to be cooked, so it's waste." This is good. This is the new batch that he's gonna cut. Um, is ah, 对啊，我就想说，放了一天都还是这么新鲜的叶子啊，就非常。哎，这是狗啊！所以，所以，你如果是说要查，在美国那边，如果其实我我感觉美国气候比较干燥，嗯，很适合做茶，很适合做茶。所以像这种天气，就是这种自然气候，不是现在不适合做那种传统的嘛？现在是，是，但是只要下茶是最怕鼻屎。嗯。呃，这不管是茶还是生长的环境，还是说，都，还是说。Uh, so now because it's a small batch, so he's just rolling using his hand. In the old times,、uh, this was done by feet, without the rolling machine. It's very hard work、uh, rolling tea. By the way, I mean, you know, some places they still roll the tea by hand, and it's, I mean, you, your hand. Will start bleeding after a while. So, if you are doing it yourself, 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 if you are doing it 炒的和干的茶又不一样，那个香不是不是香水那种香，是是，所以<笑>要在大街上面炒，大家都知道。都是，嗯。慢慢的就，就现在很少人，我我不想做茶，突然我说这个点子，那我在大街上直接在那边炒，嗯，大家就知道这个茶，是,是,、嗯、是最好的食物。嗯，是。呃，就不好看哈，对。是。对。So um. 东北名人老赵所说的。So he was、uh, also saying that 
uh, the traditional method is not popular now, but it's just like many young people who come from tea making family, if they know about it and they're educated and they, they, they also feel really sad that the uh, tradition is going away. He was saying now because uh, it's all the, the welding or the fermenting process is in the controlled temp uh, temperature room, so within the day tea leaves still look kind of green, very fresh. It does not achieve the uh, traditional fermentation level. It, um, it has a unique smell and taste, but it's it's just not the same. Um, and he was also saying he was that like, you know if if somebody actually happened to make a batch of the traditional among all tea makers, I mean the whole village can smell it. Um, but it look ugly. It's all look black. And he was laughing at me. He's like you people from northeast. Uh, so the south produce tea, but the north consumes tea. Uh, he's like oh you don't know what's good, so you. You always like this, and they so all tea makers here now making the uh, the new traditional uh, tea guanyin because of the because market demand. So this is the tea that we just uh, made. Really after it's it finished this process, it's already tea. Even though the flavor is, I mean, there are many processes to make it uh, fine tea, but in this stage, it's already drinkable. Uh, very similar to cloth tea we saw, even though it's, it's it's different, but the concept is the same. He was also saying that, uh, so this is a sailor basically, he travels around the world, uh, I mean his, his son, he, he follows the, uh, like the cargo ship, he works on a cargo ship, so he doesn't get to get off the ship often, but uh, in, uh, technically he's traveled around the world. And he was also saying that um, it's kind of like fine wine. The really bad tea and, and good tea is easy to tell, but good tea to super good tea is it's hard to tell. And um, yeah, people who don't understand tea will think that they're all the same. Uh, so traditionally in China there are 24 uh, different seasons and this is basically the farmer's calendar. Uh, everybody follows that and tea making is the same. I said many times that there, for, like, for green tea there's April 5th and then there's um, April 20th. Uh, it's because those are um, the marking of different seasons. And then for tea guan yin, uh, in this area it started May 1st, that's the, but it it's always depends on each year, the plus and minus several days. And then for the autumn tea, it starts um, October 1st. And he was saying that uh, over here, because of this, this kind of microclimate, uh, the autumn tea takes much longer to grow than the spring tea. And I think I already, uh, I think I, I probably told some people this before. Uh, tea wine is very unique because for all, almost all other teas, the most prized tea is always spring tea. Uh, only tea wine, the best. Uh, are made in autumn. I mean, spring tea is also, there's not much difference in the real pricing because the farmers take same kind of effort and everything, so the cost is pretty much the same. But autumn tea has a very unique fragrance. So this one says a little more of the unique tea guanyin flavor, which is the all the other tea has a comeback sweetness. I mean, tea is the same, but it has a very unique kind of sour, vinaigrette like, taste to it. Uh, that one, the fermentation is not done as well as this one. 
<laughs> now we're cooking the tea. Mm. Oh, song su the hua chow to I Mm 是是。So he was saying that in the old times, uh, similar to uh, uh, Zheng San Xiaozong, they actually used the pine needles. Instead of smoking the tea, they actually used that to cut the tea in a big block. But production is very low. They're only able to make maybe a couple kilo a day, and obviously it's not uh, good for the production. Now, after they cook the tea, now, this is the what is This is very similar to um, the Kung Fu Red Tea making process it's called Da Dai, but I, I want to know like why they are doing this. Oh. So with this process, there are many tea leaves that um, became dead during the fermentation process, like this one. Remember, tea is a living product. It's, it, it cannot be dead. If it's dead, then it has to be half dead, basically. Uh, when they say the water is not coming out enough, or they say the tea is too alive, uh, that's also not good. But with this one, the tea is dead, so it's not going to taste good. When they beat the tea using that machine, this thing will, will fall off, and then this one will filter it out. This process also used to be done by hand. It's, it's a lot of work. Say it again, say it again, I want to get <laughs> so basically he was saying the same thing, so this is what I saw in Taiwan as well. The tea dust here um, come out, it's really cheap, sells for like 2 RMB uh, a kilo, no half a kilo. And then they, um, he was saying that basically the tea bags that you're drinking in the hotels all come from this. I asked him to repeat that, he said, ah, no. Now this is the... Um, process where they uh, continue rolling the tea. It's This is a very hard to operate machine. I tried it uh, last time when I was in Taiwan and um, almost lost my hand. <laughs> it looks very easy. It's really hard. And also, by the way, the that bag of tea is really, really heavy. Um, I could barely lift it and they were just like swirling it around. 